What's up, Garrett again? Uh, I'm up out here working on this old parts motor again, pulling the last couple parts off of it that I, I uh, need to. I sold the injector pump and the rocker arm assemblies to a, a buddy of mine to upgrade a regular LDT motor to an LDS motor. Uh, because the main difference between them is uh, the injection pump and the rocker arms. Uh, the rocker arms being a higher ratio intake uh, to let more air in per stroke on the cylinder. Uh, makes it run a little cooler on the EGTs, you get a little more horsepower. Um, you can't really just upgrade uh, an LDT to an LDS by throwing the injector pump on. Um, it's it's got to have both. So what I wanted to show you here, and and this, you know, I already told you that the number four was locked up because it was full of water, but apparently it was messed up before it was pulled because what I found as soon as I pulled the valve covers off, that right there. And that's the only one that looks like it's fucked up. And uh, I had already pulled it out. I put it back in here to show you guys how I found it. Um, it's not supposed to be like that it's supposed to be straight so uh i don't know if maybe the crank broke and this was coming up when it shouldn't have been that piston was and it hit a valve and bent this rod or, or this push rod or if they just over revved it really bad um i'm not sure i'm not going to tear the motor down any more than i need to um, I'm going to pull what I need off of it, and then the, the rest will probably go to scrap. But, uh, just thought I'd show you that, so. But it is, uh, if you're going to do this job, you know, replace head gaskets or change your valve cover gaskets or, or even uh, do a valve adjustment. You take, uh, shit, where did it go? Okay. I used just a, a quarter inch ratchet with a six inch extension and a half inch socket get all your valve cover bolts out and even your uh, your your two crankcase vent um, you got two on each side two nuts for the crankcase vent those are also half inch so to get the whole top of the uh, tappet cover all that crap off all you need is is a quarter inch ratchet and a, a half inch socket um, then if you're gonna pull your rocker arm assemblies it's just a 9 16 right there and uh, these are torque to yield bolts so you can only use them once if you take these rocker assemblies off you've got to use new bolts on it um, believe me uh, I've, I've torqued them down before and broken them off uh, I learned that the hard way luckily um, in this cast iron head they they don't uh, they don't get stuck if you don't cross thread them they just you know spin right out so it's just best to save yourself the trouble and, and buy new bolts ahead of time I don't remember the exact length um, if you'd asked me six months ago I'd have been able to tell you exactly um, but if you're pulling that off you'll know anyway I think they're two and a half inch uh, torque spec on them is 40 or 45 foot pounds it's not a lot um, and of course when you're setting your valves 10 thousandths intake 25 thousandths exhaust um, and yes this is getting a bunch of leaves and shit down in this head but once again this motor is going to go to scrap it's junk i don't care so please don't give me any shit about it because i'm not going to listen to you anyway um, if somebody wants this motor for parts there there are no holes in the block no holes in the oil pan or anything number four cylinder was full of water it's full of rust this motor is locked it will not spin um it is as you see it it's got as far as i know a good starter on it um oil cooler and oil cooler housing and all that air compressor is cracked uh, the flywheel housing is fine that's a five ton flywheel housing the clutch looks to be decent um nothing is broken on it uh i have not pulled the drain pan uh, plugs or anything uh about as much as i can tell you is it doesn't spin 
and it had some water in it, but it doesn't have any holes in it. If somebody wants this whole thing, like you see it, minus the rocker arm assemblies, um, bring me 50 bucks and come get it. I'm not shipping it, uh, but if you want it, get a hold of me. Put a message below the video here. Uh, I live in Dry Creek, Louisiana. The zip code is 70634, so you can look it up, see how far it would be for a trip for you. I have a wrecker. I can pick it up and load it right into the back of your truck or on a trailer in two minutes. Not a problem. Um, but if somebody out there can use it, instead of it just going to be made into Chinese pot metal, it'd be great. Um, you know, like I said, just make it worth my time messing with, and it's yours. So, I will see you guys on the next video. I appreciate you tuning in again.